Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tory Burch Selby Slides. The reason I decided to pick up the Selby Slides is because I wanted something that was a little bit more dressy than my Tory Burch Miller sandals. These are great, but they just look very casual to me and I'm, I don't always want to wear them. So I wanted to get something that gave a little bit more of a dressy vibe, which was still casual. And I saw these online and I was like, oh my gosh, these look gorgeous. So I'm, like, I'm going to get them and try them on. I figure we're all familiar with the Tor Burge packaging by now. And as always, they provide a dust bag which is great for when you're traveling. I love these things. And not only do I, I use them as inserts for other bags, so like if you have straw bags that have holes in there or anything, you can just use these as the insert, which is what I do. Okay, these are the slides. Guys, aren't they pretty? What do you think? So as you can tell, I picked them up in black and they do feature this brass hardware with the T logo and it is curved to fit the shape of your foot. They do have um, padding on the inside. When I tried them on, they were really, really comfortable. So I will of course try them on for you so you can see. These fit exact, they're a size eight, which is my true size. Let me know if you guys think that, you know, I did a good job by purchasing these. Let me know if you like them. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about the sizing for Tory Burch because on my other sandal video, which I will link below, a few of you asked if you should size up when purchasing Tory Burch slides and I did want to mention that and I don't think you should. Unless you don't have narrow feet, because I have really narrow feet, so this is my size. Every time I purchase a different size, I end up regretting it. So I wanted to also talk about the Tory Burch Inez slides. These are also very similar to the um, Selby's, and they do feature that uh, metallic gold trim around the logo. It's also um, leather upper, same like this one. But I did purchase this in a size eight and a half. And that's because the fit was so exact, just like with these, that I was like, oh, I don't want it to look like my heel is hanging over. I'm always thinking about those things. Does this look too small or is it too too close so I decided okay for these seems that I've wanted them for such a long time before I bought them and I haven't even gotten to wear them yet I decided that I'd go up um, half a size but I bought them last year and I was planning to wear them this spring and summer but we haven't gone anywhere and I still haven't worn them but in trying them on I noticed that they really are too big and I will try them on for you so you can see what I am talking about. There's just ever so much of a space to the back of the sandal and there is too much room in the front. And on top of it, these are leather sandals, so they are going to stretch. So you will end up with a shoe that's way too big. Currently, I'm trying to sell mine so I can repurchase them in an eight. If you're interested, let me know. So I think these will be a great addition um, to my collection. And let me know what you think. Do you think they give more of a dressy vibe than the Millers? I've worn my Millers to death. I know they look terrible. Yeah, I've, I've, they, they are well loved. I've pretty much like walked off the tip. But yeah, I'm loving these and I'm excited to wear them. I do have travel planned for later this year but you never know and i probably won't end up going anywhere but if i do i'll be prepared these will be on my feet 
Don't forget to check the description box below because I'll leave the link to my other sandal video I was talking about and I'll also leave the link to these. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post. Until next time guys, bye.